John Force is finally out of the hospital. Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. John Force's family provided a great update on the 16-time NHRA champion, the 157-time race winner, on Tuesday, saying that he has been discharged from the hospital a month after crashing his funny car into the wall at Virginia Motorsport Park at over 300 miles per hour. The 75-year-old is now cleared to travel home to Southern California, which is a great bit of news for him. The family said that he's excited to go home and sleep in his own bed, and I think we can all relate to that as well. I mean, heck, Drake even basically wrote an an entire song about how much he likes his own bed. Might be for weirder reasons, though, than that. But for John Force, this is a great update. The family also said that he will continue his rehabilitation from his traumatic brain injury on an outpatient basis home in Southern California, that he'll continue to work with occupational and physical therapists to deal with the cognitive issues as well as the short-term memory loss that he is still suffering from. But for John Force, this is great news. And I know a lot of people want to see him back at the racetrack. They want to see him back in a race car. And honestly, I don't know if we'll ever see that happen. And that should be fine for everybody right? The man has given everyone enough memories, enough race wins, enough championships. Just want to see him have a good life at this point. But if he can ever get back in a race car, sure, everybody will welcome that. But every traumatic brain injury, of course, is different. There's not a great, you know, every nobody all... No, People don't all fall the same path, essentially, with this. So for John, it could be different than somebody else. And you have to keep in mind that the man is 75 years old. Recovery at that age takes substantially longer than 30 or 18 or any other age under the, you know, 75, basically. That is an older man. But the news that he's able to now travel home, he's able to walk on his own, all of those things, all that is such positive news, considering back when he first went into the hospital, he was having a hard time recognizing who was in the room with him. I mean, heck, they said for the first few days that he was in the hospital, that he was sedated. He didn't know who people were. He wasn't speaking. And then, you know, he started to come around. And when they put him into the neuro ward, the, ne the neuro ICU at the hospital there in Virginia, then he started to see some progress. He started to, you know, he knew his name. He could at least whisper or murmur that. He knew who his family members were. He started responding to commands. He started getting up and was able to walk around. That you know, at first he was suffering from you know the memory loss uh, as well as being you know confused, disoriented. Uh, you know, the doctor said that he was a bit of a raging bull, uh, and they had to you know constrain him to the bed at you know points because it was all confusing. And that's what happens with traumatic brain injuries, and you get confused. You're not sure where you are. I mean, heck, anytime you come out of sedation, for some people, they're just absolutely trying to fight their way out of there. Um, for, for John, it makes sense that he, of course, was confused, but it's great to see his recovery process continue to work on this path to basically not getting back to normal, but being able to, you know, live a regular life. And I think that's what everybody should want for John Force at this point. But of course, the man, you know, is going to be fired up and hopefully we get to see him back at a racetrack this year. That would be great. Obviously, he's going to have to get clearance from doctors and all, of, you know, this that happens because he did suffer a traumatic brain injury. I don't want to have people forget that that did happen. He took a massive crash, he hit, massive hit into the wall, a massive crash. And, you know, he's lucky to, to be here, essentially, especially after how bleak it seemed there at the beginning. Yeah, he climbed out of the race car. Testosterone is a wild thing. And with TBIs, you likely didn't know right in that moment that there was something wrong. And then to hear that he was, you know, sedated and everything that went along with that leading up to, you know, him getting moved to the neuro ICU like, uh, you know, a month ago, essentially. Yeah, it's good to see him back in this position and now being able to travel home, being able to go back to somewhat of a normal life. And like I said, hopefully we get to see him back at a racetrack this year because I think the fans would absolutely love it. I think he would love it, assuming that he does, in fact, remember that he is John Force, one of the badass drivers of this entire generation, if not the most badass drag racer of this entire generation. Heck, I don't even think, think you can say this, generous. the man has has spanned multiple generations at this point. So for John, I'm happy to see that he's able to now travel home to Southern California. Let me know in the comments what you think about John and his condition and you know potentially the future for him. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.